Hi everyone, it is so good to be with you on this Friday. This Friday is the day before Juneteenth, a commemoration of June 19th, 1865, in which General Granger of the Union Army declared in Galveston, Texas, that all Texas slaves were that day and forever free. Now, President Lincoln had made the Emancipation Proclamation two and a half years before that, but it only liberated the oppressed as the Union Army advanced and made it happen. Texas was one of the most remote state, was the most remote state in the Confederacy and in fact increased the number of slaves during those two and a half years after the Emancipation Proclamation. They made the proclamation, the slaves in Texas were free people, but even there the job wasn't done. There were two border states, Kentucky and Delaware, that were allowed to have slaves, and they didn't, uh, that didn't get forbidden and outlawed until uh, the 13th Amendment was ratified half a year after Juneteenth. All of this goes to show that we have to not just hear something good or even say something good, but do something good as well. And that work continues. James 121 says, be not just doers of the word, to be not just uh, uh, hearers of the word, but doers as well. And so we're called to be doers, and that means we just don't sit aside and let things happen around us or not happen around us. It means that we need to engage. So as we now have a new federal holiday for Juneteenth, it's a time to celebrate, it's a time to remember, but also it is a time to act. And we are called to engage and to make a difference. As I was reflecting on Juneteenth with some young people today, we ended up talking about their role in helping to reduce child labor problems in the world and how they choose not to buy products that are made in sweatshops. We all have a responsibility to carry on what got started with the Emancipation Proclamation. So in the men's group on Saturday, June 10th, the men will be discussing the question, what is my part in fulfilling America's repentance from racism? We all have a part to do and not just to hear. Let's be doers and not just hearers of God's word. So it's been very good to be with you for these words of the pastors. We've looked forward to it for three days a week for a year and a couple months. Uh, next week, we move to Tuesdays only. But don't forget, we hope to see you on Tuesday. And for those of you who are local, in person for worship on Sunday. Take care. Have a great weekend. God bless. Indeed. Bye-bye.